Shall we? The chatter recommended this, and it looks right up my alley. It's a horror game. It looks kind of like uh, Hypno Space. Turn off the lights. True. What's in the mailbox? Oh, this is kind of scary. No message to display. Uh, welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. Pleased to have you aboard as our brand new safety hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. I'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties. Responders with a 90% accuracy rate will qualify for our daily employee coupons. Attention call team, do it in an area with our archival network. Some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Oh, I'm watching that. You have to read a lot? Well, if I can do it fast. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household accidents. Like house fires. Flooding. Black mold. Ew. <laughs> okay. Now... Analog horror usually doesn't hit with me, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot because I like Tipno Space a lot, and this is similar. Uh, all right, let's call the home safety hotline, shall we? Monday. Uh, let's clock in, shall we? Oh, bed bugs. Yeah, for pests. What? Oh. Hi, Carol. Hi, new employee. Thank My you, Mitch. Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Hey, Carol. Before you begin your first mushy, mushy. day here, <laughs> let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Okay. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you diagnose their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard. And we'll forward them safety to instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. Mickey's I'm sure we'll talk on. again soon. Oh, that is nice. I like that sound. Bees? <laughs> bees are small, matriarchal flying insects. Homeowners infested with bees report buzzing stings or frequent bee sightings. I know what bees are. Black mold. Yeah, uh, musty smell, blah, blah, blah. Gopher. <laughs> okay. I can guess, I think. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Okay. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Mm, coffee grounds? All right, let Please me put you on. Hold. I think that's mice, right? They leave droppings. Specks of dirt in the kitchen. Probably mice, I would think. Yeah, because they don't have breathing problems. All right, buddy. That shit sound like mice to me. You got mice, big fella. Send it. Mm, good job. I don't know if I got it right or not. <laughs> Maybe I find that out later. Hi. Hi, Grace. I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, bees. It kind Definitely of like bees. E e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, uh -huh. but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Mice again. Please hold. E E E Raccoon? It could be squeaking. <laughs> you got a mole in the attic? Ain't no way she got a mole in the attic. It's mice again. Bro, is that are you married to the last guy that called? Do you guys share a bed? What the fuck is this? That's a mouse. It's a mice. The last guy was mold. No. Read the mold description? Too busy. Hank here. 
Hey, Hank. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. It's a mole. I was told wasn't anything to worry Probably a mole. about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. <laughs> Probably a. Uh... I'm talking huge. Oh, like actual piles crap. Oh, my bad. You better oh, not like tell poop. me it's nothing again. <laughs> Might because be nice. I know I've seen something. <laughs> a big mouse. There. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. You got cows. Please hold. Big piles of poop? Who would do that? Raccoon entry said attic. Oh, did it? Mouse, mouse, mouse. <laughs> yup, another mouse. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> there might be a fire, but you can't rule out the mice. That's true. Yeah. Warning, never kill a mole. Why not? He didn't say it was poop. I thought because he kept saying crap that it was actual poop. But I'm like, all right. No. All right, send it. We're good. John hey, John. Here again. I got beef with you. What? Your people gave me bad info. It was mice. What you sent us didn't have anything to do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bother Colin. Aww. Wait, they also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil. Wait, what does that mean? What? <laughs> uh, Twig Segment here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Uh -huh. wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Thanks, Twig. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with Twig? Leave me alone, man. Wait, so it says raccoons can live in attics? They nest in attics. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired! Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good-for-nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Not yes. really my job. You sent some guys up to get this done. No. Please hold. What? Do I send him something that will get <laughs> mow his lawn? I'll send him a gopher. Can I send him a gopher? His kid is sick. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, wait. His kid is sick and the guy has a headache. Ah. I see. That shit's a tick, bro. You got ticks. I'm not cooking. The chat cooked. I wouldn't have known that. I would have sent him something to cut the grass like a gopher. <laughs> You've reached the end of your shift. Please clock out. 75% accuracy. Not bad. No coupons, though. What is that, one out of four I missed? Damn. I got the, the attic one. It was mice. You notice that? It wasn't a raccoon. Check out the mail, shall we? You don't you don't know me, but I used to have your job. You're in danger. Quit before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit. Ooh, how scary. Very scary. Oh, no. How long is this game? Are there any new ones? No, they're all the same. All right, let's wait for a call. What's up? Hello. Hey, Carol. It's Carol again. Here's I did pretty good yesterday. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Awesome. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. All right. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Oh. Thank you. Like, what? Okay, a bat? <laughs> oh, God, there's a lot here. A bat? 
bed teeth? Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sorry. Sneezing. Uh, anything you can do pollen. to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house. I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something. Black mold. Black mold. Sneezing. Black mold. In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. <laughs> mold this year. Okay. Uh, bed teeth are a rare kind of fungus, not directly harmful to most humans given their brief sleeping schedules. They tend to gradually grow sharper over time if left untreated. Uh... To prevent the growth of bed teeth, bed sheets and blankets should be washed regularly. Are bed teeth real? <laughs> Carbon monoxide, you would not sneeze for that. Cellar growths. Oh my god! Large species of fungi known to grow in dark, damp environments. Yeah, they drip on the floor. Common hob. <laughs> Bro, you got a hob in your house? You better not have a hob in your house. Uh, they don't make people sneeze, though. Yeah, they're not dangerous to humans on their own, but if they're provoked, they're capable of mischievous acts. Desk hob. Oh, God. I hate desk hobs, bro. All right, well, they don't make you sneeze. False beat. <laughs> okay. Harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they take root in the human's stomach, feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime. Cause digestive issues and potential back problems. No, it's not a beat. Fracture hob. What is he doing here? They cause cracks and fractures in the walls of homes. You son of a bitch. Frozen pipes. It's not even like a... Okay. House fires. I mean, is your house on fire? House fly. Bro is sneezing. Pipe growth. <laughs> A pipe hob. I hate these hobs, bro. Get them out of here. Stair slug. <laughs> A large dog-sized slug that occupies stairwells and basements. Alright, it's gotta be black mold, right? Allergic reactions or breathing problems. It has to be. I don't know what else it could be. What would cause sneezing? Has to be mice. Somebody puts in all the effort to make a video game and makes the solution the same thing every time. For the entire runtime. He talked about pollen. He thinks it's pollen. He doesn't know what it is. Hey! Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep huh. hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. That's a hob. I haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops. That's Definitely a hob. Me to call this number. <laughs> so this is a hob, bro. Is there something you can do? Oh, let me see. It's definitely a hob. Please, so it's cleaning? All the noise coming from the living room. So it's a living room hob. Common hob? Is it clean? Uh, no false face, no for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and sticky substances. <laughs> they clean up. That's cool. All right, that's awesome. One should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream at night. The fuck does that mean? All right, you got a hob. Probably just a common hob. Yeah, it's in your living room. Common hob, send it. Might be a friend. It's a nice, friendly little hob. God, are there really this many entries? That's crazy. <laughs> she hears your response. Huh? <laughs> That's a hob that metamorphosized, right? 
addiction and Surely. crying all over the place. He's a hob. Just all over the place. I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What's she gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> Okay. Big teeth. Ew. God, that seems so gross. That seems like it could be real, too. Are the calls random, or are they generate? I bet they're the same every time. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. Bat. I hear something crawling in the walls. Bat. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. Hob. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Wall hob. Help me, please. Okay. Please hold. Yeah, yeah fuck it. It's an ant. Carpenter ants, I guess. Good luck. Teeth marks equals ants. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Little tiny teeth. Yeah, it's ants. Fuck it. Ants. You got ants. It's all it could be, right? Moshi moshi. That's the guy from Matt. Hearing in my house lately sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. It's huh? so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've Not again. I've set all kinds of traps, but uh, Ants. I thought one worked for a while. But then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. So it's something. Wait. So it's something in his walls. Please. That's oh. quiet. It's this then. That this actually is ants. The last one was not ants. This one is ants. Cause there's no damage or droppings, but you hear faint rustling. That one actually is ants. <laughs> Oops. My bad. I guess that last one was an ants. I don't know what that could have been. Her ass is dead, dead. Not my problem. I did the best I could. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Yeah. Someone <laughs> Is your stuff in a desk? You know, envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. I need your best home security equipment. Yeah, they're Run organizing. Up. No, Ooh, I know oh. it is. You got yourself a desk, Cobb. They're organizing shit. Yep. They're sorting and organizing shit to their liking. That's what they do. You got yourself a desk, Cobb. Send it. Good luck. Kill it before it changes, true. Somebody said what happens when they metamorphosize. Uh, metamor I don't know what it's called. 80%? Pretty good. This game is good, actually. Yeah, I love this. This is awesome. Too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Right in there? Are you a hob? I'll be a hob, too. You may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. You still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Wait, if the network goes down. Dude, am I going to have to, like, guess then? New video on desktop? Oh, shit, I missed it. Can I exit? Okay. What's up? This is 1996. Not bad. Why am I looking at this? Zillow Sundays. I'm a hob, right? I'm definitely going to turn into a hob. Is that why it's sending me houses? Civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway. So we're doing like a channel, whatever it's called, Channel 7 or whatever that thing is. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt. 
Fisher, He's Rob a hob. Schwartz, and wide tennis shoes. That kid's a hob. Man, that's a nice house. Feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their <laughs> first last <laughs> okay. seat at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual... Look at that house! Only 12k? Damn. 2,800 square feet? The fuck is going on there? Let me live there at 980 Barry Lane. Remember that. I'm going there. That shit haunted? I can fix her. Alright, let's get out of here. Happy Wednesday! That shit filled with hobs. Yeah, I'll be leaving cream and milk out every day. Carol, give me new some some entries, huh? Shall we? Let me learn some new stuff. The problem with analog horror is that it eventually jumps the shark. Like it goes too far. It's like, a, like Hobbs are Hello? still kind of like Carol here again. probably too far, We've but updated your permissions. You should now have I love Hypnospace. That's a great game. Information to work with for your future calls. Cool. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Man Guy person. I missed your sub. Sorry. Confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Okay. Thank you. You got it. Thanks, Carol. What do we got? Uh, a boggart. Oh, Jesus. General term for metamorphos metamorphosed hob. Large, hairy humanoid between six to seven feet tall, bear fairly convincing false faces. Causing household accidents like flooding fires or electric outages. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. Sludge. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything. Sludge, stair but sludge. I haven't gotten close enough to it to find stair out slug. what it is. Since stair it's always slug. just lurking out of sight stair from slug. the top of the stairs. I need someone to come what, get this top of the stairs? Of well, well it might be stair slug. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Uh huh. So it's on the stairs. Please hold. Stair slug, probably. Because it says it's dog size. Uh, slimy residue doesn't growl or hiss or anything. Yeah, they don't make sounds. It's lurking from out of sight from the top of the stairs. Send it. That shit like a dog. Ew! Stair slug. Definitely. You got yourself a stair slug. Go ahead and uh, apply some salt. Not directly. Fix that up. How about a tea sprite? Aw, cute. It's still crawling in the walls. Those instructions you said didn't work at all. It's ants. Lady, you have rot. carpenter ants. Relax. It's probably... I bet I couldn't solve her problem. I bet it's a hob I hadn't heard of. Toilet hob. Oh, God, my greatest fear. Him just reaching up there. Not dangerous on their own, but their physical presence uh, may result in plumbing problems. Hey, uh... Hey, Peter. I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom recently. I'm not sure what it could Pipe be. Up. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Pipe up. Along with this uh, <laughs> nasty smell. Well, Please hold. there's a couple things in the pipes. Strange faucet smells banging and whistling. Come on. No way it's just frozen pipes. Alright. Just got some normal ass frozen pipes. Right. How about a false artifact? Oh God! Seemingly human-designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home, known for making gentle buzzing sounds that usually can be heard by very young humans or small animals. Okay. Did you guys see false rosebush? This is the thing that abducted the kid. Oh my God! Look at the feet. Large plant-like creatures most commonly take on the appearance of a rosebush. Dude. Hob. It's gone. My wife. I can't. 
can't see her face. It's a hob. I can't see her face. Or a tick. Maybe he's a hob. I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. Mice? Please hold. That's a gopher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, one second. So you don't, your wife is dead and you can't see your face. Is that just, met, did she, she's not a metamorphosized, right? Lamp sprite. Make their home inside lamp fiction. That's terrifying. Memory wisp. Oh, wait. Due to clerical error, the audio sample above is incorrect. Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps will report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the face of loved ones. Holy. Not a danger to the physical health, but they can affect human memory. It's gotta be that. Yeah, bro got, bro got a memory wisp. Thanks, Hexicle. You got a memory wisp. Get rid of that, you'll remember your wife's face. Thanks for calling. Pulling the Dopper Dr. Hibbert bit. Why, well, I bet you've never even seen your own face. <laughs> Whistling fungi. This would piss me off. Oh, never mind. That's kind of pretty. Wine Sprite. Ew! Consuming wine, so it's like a tea sprite, but a, a lush. For as a drunkard. Hey, yeah, Not Fred Pinball. Get this guy out of here. Place of business, I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't <laughs> putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had a grab What's going on here? Why does he sound like this? Is now, he a hob? Am I a hob? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> he lulled at the end. Wood secretions. Ew. Pink viscous li liquid substance can form from wood that has been mistreated. Mistreated? Can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Jesus. Keep animals and human children away from secretions at all costs. Its foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them, making them susceptible to ingestion. Uh, Moshi Moshi. I, uh, have no idea what's happening. Bed my teeth. sheets are growing nasty, sharp things on them, and my legs itch bed like teeth. crazy. Harvey, you got bed teeth. Do I need to be showering more often or something? Bed teeth. Wash I your usually sheets. shower like once a week for my skin health, so oh my maybe God. that's it. Disgusting. Yeah, you have bed teeth, dude. Please hold. Work on your hygiene. You got bed teeth. No, I know what it is. Network error, I know what it is. It's fine. It's bed teeth. I know this. I don't need to read it. It's bed teeth. I know it is. Go ahead and send it. Good luck with your bed teeth. Why don't you go ahead and uh, wash your sheets, buddy? How did that get sent if I don't have the internet? DNS error? Again? Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some or maybe it's peeling. fracture hub. I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and uh -oh. sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. Fracture hub. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. You have a shitty cat. <laughs> you have a cat. Uh, pretty sure that is a fracture. Wait, is the inner? Is it still down? Okay, we're good. Yeah. Fracture hub. Easy peasy. Send it. I'm lazy with my job, bro. I just fuck it. Hey, it's the first thing I can think of. There you go. Sending the hob. <laughs> Saying everything's a gopher. Do you think 
What is some this? Kind of joke? Last What's up, Gary? Week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. Uh -huh. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? Yeah, what you had a hob. What joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you. And now we're well. starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Yeah, bro got a bogger. Please. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active bogger by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak to the, of the bogger at any time in any fashion, it remains at its original location. Causing electric outages. Well, Gary, I hate to be the one to tell you this. You got a bogger. That's not bad. 83? Log in to Thursday. What's this? Check in on the mailbox. Ooh, new office pet. Whiskers. Loyal, friendly, a series about pet whiskers is going to get eaten by a, a, by a, a hob. Absolutely. He's getting eaten right away. Wait, that was the lady's cat? Wait, Whiskers? <laughs> Wait a minute. We stole her cat. Why did we name it the same thing? You don't need to name a cat the same name it already had. You could change a cat name. Give me that damn cat. That shit sound cute as hell. True. How do they do all those things, like make pipes smell? Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. <laughs> From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just sort of. like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. <gasps> Are they hobs? This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. Uh -huh. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. A newly discovered species mouse? known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Oh! Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. Oh, that's cool. Is the whole With game the help about of mice? Modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. It was all mice. Listen. Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. <laughs> okay, yeah. That would have blown people's minds back in 1996. It's true. This one's fact. Alright, let's log into Thursday. Happy Thursday, everybody. Shall we? Clock in. You should help the smart mouse. I hope the smart mouse calls. Maybe he'll call in. I'll be able to help him. The mouse becomes a hob. Mouse becomes a hob. Hob becomes a boggart. Standard stuff. 
Moshi Moshi. Hi, Carol. Hello. Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. The? I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. Thank you. I have once again updated your permission so you awesome. should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Is Whiskers one of them? Employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Why? Okay, that's the second time. It's a little weird. Uh, alright. Attic gnome. <laughs> oh, that lady in an attic gnome earlier. The horde? <laughs> Invisible, odorless, collective consciousness. Known to collect and store large quantities of household common refuse. Tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are... Co what? It's just moving trash? It's just moving garbage. The horde will continue to gather and hoard the treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at the first sign of the horde. <laughs> okay. Floor roots. Oh, God. Oh, that's freaky. If not spotted quickly, they're a known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Oh my god. Okay. Fay flu. Ew. Rare and dangerous disease spread by household fay. Symptoms of fay flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration. <laughs> your people sent me, but <laughs> I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Where's your cat? Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control, and she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Feasts are mid to large sized piles of edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. Ew. Feasts are not dangerous if consumed. The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, it was a hope very I good got old the lady right voice. Here. Anyway, uh, I think. I think somebody is stalking me. Bogger. I can see their shadow at night at my window. Just. Staring into the house. Bogger. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. Well, it's outside. I've Do Boggers go outside? I've been couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. Boggers live in the, the house? The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. Boggers are basement? They I don't can th hardly sleep anymore. I don't think they're in the basement. basement. Alright, so it's an outdoor- Travel gnome! <laughs> Highly invasive subspecies of gnome known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers. Oh my god. <laughs> they create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil plants and common outdoor pests in their wake. A seedling, maybe? No. Night wisp? Ooh, it might be a night gnome. A wisp in form of bright, floating lights. No. Small hairy creatures with a pointed head. Oh, this guy? Known for tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night or report heavy breathing sounds. Yeah, that's a night gnome. Not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions... <laughs> there he is now. Maybe I have one. Those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being started by the presence. They move on to other homes that they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. No guarantee, however, uh, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. Yeah, you got a night gnome. Good luck, lady. Just sleep in a boring way. He's laughing at you right now. Laundry gnome! <laughs> Is he in there? Subspecies of a gnome with thick fiber-like fur. Hello, yes, hey, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. 
What's up? Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, okay. and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Mm. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay. Banging ceiling oh. air quality. Ooh, I don't know. Attic gnome, maybe? They hear sounds coming from their ceilings, yes. And dust coming out of the ventilation systems. I think it's this. Yeah. Probably an attic gnome. Very easily frightened. Recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly. More gnomes? Yeah. Yeah, it's an attic gnome. Shit's kind of easy. Lock it in. They violently expel their meals? Wait, did it say that? When frightened, it can send large quantities of dust particles into the air. Ew. <laughs> I would be so pissed off if I lived in this world. Yeah, gnomes and hobs and shit just running amok. This would piss me off, dude. There's a lot of entries. Holy shit. Moshi Moshi! Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweet heart. Rose bush. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night. Oh. Checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. Oh, please, 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 save me. Please hold. <laughs> Enough. Let me work. All right, something abducted a kid. There was something that said it did that. I know the, the rose bush says it abducts kids, but she said the last thing that happened was she tucked him into bed, checking for bees in the closet. Does that mean there's, like, buzzing in the closet? Wait. Do they abduct? Poses a significant risk to small human children and animals. Risk of being encased within. What's in case no noises made by the prey can be heard? Digestion can take up upwards of several years to complete starvation could be a more pressing concern. Do they sound like bees? <gasps> small buzzing sounds that can only be heard by very young human. Hey, your your kid is a TV now. Yeah. Once it's been identified, removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. Pest removal services could be called to come and remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one could utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. Oh my god. That's brutal. Anyway, your son's a TV. You should lie to her. Gopher. Definitely a gopher. It was bees. <laughs> the bees formed a big hand and then carried him away. Hi. I'm hey, Leo. concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. Sure. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement uh, that were not previously disclosed. You might have a as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. Oh. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering Jeez, if you can huh? offer any kind of legal advice. Hmm. Interesting. Please hold. Who be eating cheese? Yep, yep, yep. Fracture hob just got... Yeah, it's probably that. Walls of the basement. Yeah, you got a fracture hob down there. I didn't think it'd be that, because I said something else was that, but I probably got that one wrong. I was thinking, like, you know, oh, it can't be Fracture Hob again, but I think I probably was wrong on a, on a previous one. Do not give him cheese. <laughs> Hold, Cheddar. That is not the right play. He likes cheese, and he will stay. Don't make a friend. <sighs> Let me get this rose bush out there. Anybody else? Can I clock out? Oh, Moshi Moshi. Home safety hotline. Got a rumor here. I need to place 
placed an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. I got a big old party asshole. I'm sitting up here at the studio, and we're going to need that orange drink to... Uh, too many mouths to feed, you know what I mean. going to need that orange drink to feed my crew. I <laughs> thought you all still got that cheesy greaser. Too many mouths to feed. Uh, Alright, goodbye, Gobro. Very silly indeed. Ew! Hey, Phil. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. Yeah! I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I uh -huh. guess. Bro got the face shit. Please hold. Pink eyes mm. headaches. Come on. It's probably this. Faith flu. Pretty sure. I was gonna say uh carbon monoxide, but as soon as he said the pink eyes. Faith flu. Send it. I'm sure it's that. Or just pink eye. <laughs> you don't get headaches from pink eye though. Come on. Surely I'm done for the day, right? Come on. More work? You gotta Aww. tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm okay. freaking out over here! What's up? There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! It might I've just be mice. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! Oh. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found! She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Okay. Unicorn fungus? Oh, true. The dog is digging in. Yeah. That poor dog. Yeah. That dog is digging through all that bullshit. Yep. Your dog's a unicorn and it's probably dead now. Went too deep underground. You got a unicorn, dog. Thanks for calling. The dog probably dug up a mole. Oh, yeah, I forgot that the mole had the mole people down there, too. Dog's gone. Anyone else? It's dead quiet. I can't believe this all fills up. I was going to say, there's, like, so many of these. Hey, Jackie. All right. What in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room? I'll do my best. I'm back from vacation, and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? I know is, what this is. Is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? I know what this is. Please hold. You got yourself a travel gnome. Spring pesticides and weed killer in the home can de uh, deter a travel gnome's gardening prospects, at which point it'll wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. <laughs> to encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stow away in visitors' luggage. You just opened an Airbnb. This is your problem now. Travel them. You gotta travel them. Making gardens and shit. Okay. Lock it in. Why can't you kill him? Yeah. I feel like he's organic. You just kill that guy. You should get a hob. They clean shit up. Yeah. Introduce a hob in every home. Hello? There's something... There's something in my basement. Is it sticky? I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, mm -hmm. and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. Okay. It 
sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. Okay. I don't know what it might be doing down might there. Might be a grotto. I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please send somebody to help with this. It smells I like can't a sewer. Deal with something like this. It smells Please. like a sewer oh. making a lot of noise. Grotto. Got yourself a cellar grotto. Good luck. Hey, I'd love to tell you about our cellar grotto packages here at HSH. Please hold. He's not 100%, by the way. I didn't report it any frogs or bugs. I, I, I thought that there would be more of that. Like, there would be, like, one guy that had some bullshit. You know what I mean? He's just reporting flies. <laughs> That was a pretty good one, right? 100%. Do not come to Thea Fole. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Okay. Scheduling changes. We're already scheduled this week. Due to a shortage of available staff, I need you to come to work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Oh, I got a coupon. Tamed River Route. Uh, pluck to tame straight for the waters within the undersoil. River root is as reliable as they come. Type the following code in your online checkout. Rootin' for you. Aw. So I guess it's like, if you get 100%, you get a little bit of lore. Like that. That's fun. It's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Fun stream. Uh, I am gonna play this maybe Sunday?